Welcome. Hello. How are you? Hello. Are you? How are you? I'm doing excellent. How about you guys? We're doing good, man. I just heard you you uh, weren't uh, eating before the show, so uh, pardon if you get hungry during, during the interview. I, w I was <laughs> my stomach's starting to growl right now. Oh, uh, I have a, some uh, I have a sandwich like a brie and oregano. Uh, uh, yeah, if you if you want, I can give it to Maybe. give it. If, if you get too peckish during the interview, <laughs> I'll go get it for you. Okay. So it's fine for you for you guys. Ishmael, I, I saw your interview with Maureen uh, for Sub Pop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really funny, and they usually, you know, Sub Pop usually does that with their other artists. But yeah. does uh, have you have you guys gotten any like mature uh, 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 women fans since then? <laughs> Um, <laughs> like, is, has it been any diff different? Like, is, is, like because a, a, of Maureen? A, yeah, tar like, the tar like a Maureen effect. Yeah, yeah. Like the target shift. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, because she didn't even she didn't really know of our music. Uh huh. So she was like a, a portal to people that don't know anything about us, but maybe see the name or something like that. So she represents a group of people that uh, don't really know our music, but kind of know who we are or seen us or something. Uh -huh. So it's, it's an interesting perspective. And then she's just funny. You know what I mean? Are you guys represented by Carly and Becca of Sub Pop? Well, Carly and Becca work yeah. at Sub Pop. Carly um, is in marketing and Becca is a press. So yeah. they deal with those aspects of our mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dealings, you know what I mean? Okay, I just asked. Are you in love with one? No, oh. obviously, who isn't? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> but no, they, they're, they're, they're friends of mine, and they stayed, uh, this is for the listeners this or, or viewers, uh, this isn't uh, hardly relevant, but they're friends of mine, so I wanted to ask you, because they sent me like this huge box, because they stayed at New Year's Eve, for uh, New Year's Eve, um, New Year's Eve two year, um, a year ago, a year and a half uh, ago, I remember that, at, yeah. uh, in Lisbon, mm -hmm. they were like, uh, in love with the city and uh, this group of, of people and uh, they stayed at my place and then they sent me like this thank you gift uh, and it included this box of CDs and, and it included uh, the uh, Black Up mm -hmm. so and it was like the mo it stood out between uh, from um, it stood out from the box of CD the whole sub pop catalog as the most uh, you know original cover mm -hmm. really so um, uh, I guess you guys uh, it was a desired effect I guess yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge story I'm sorry <laughs> yeah yeah I mean we it's all it's all the same uh, um, artifact, you yeah. feel me? The yeah. music, the presentation, the material, the feelings that are evoked when you see and touch and feel. And then this translates as you go into the music, like it's all to be one, one thing, you know? So, yeah. Experience. Mm -hmm. It's just one big experience, mm -hmm. you know? See the, the physical copy of uh, Le uh, Least Majesty, and uh, uh, how, did it have anything different as well? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, okay, yeah. it's, it's yeah. nice. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah, it's very nice, man. We got uh, some good material and some. The design is is dope too. Uh -huh. A guy named Nepsid who out of out of Toronto uh -huh. designed it, and it's it's got some cool cool stuff in it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, um, is it velvety as well? And nah, it's lush? shark skin. Shark skin, really? Yeah. Wow, really, seriously, the real shark, shark well, skin? Well, no, not real oh, sharks. Really? But <laughs> oh, cool. Cause that's we it. love animals. Cause, yeah. Cause no animals have been harmed. 
Because that would be, you know, that would entail a lot of things if you yeah, used real sharks. Expensive too. Exactly. Too. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And plus, you don't want that. You know, poor sharks. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You don't want that to happen oh. to the sharks, man. <laughs> Speaking of animals, mm. you guys were number one on the 2014 Gorilla vs. Bear website. Mm. And uh, were was it like this childhood uh, goal of yours to one day be number one on this interspecies uh, animal website? F animal fighting, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, always, I I've always thought that a gorilla... You know, would 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 beat up a bear. So hmm. the whole when I first became familiar with Gorilla versus Bear as a as a blog, that question plagued me. You know, for years it still does oh. to this day. And I'm hoping I don't like animal cruelty either, but I, I do want to see that. Hmm. I want to see that. You know. Sure. So no animal on animal fighting at all. I would I would I would watch a, a, the gorilla versus bear contest. You know, mm -hmm. like if it was a YouTube video or something like sure. that. Yeah, like the jumping cars or whatever, like some novelty thing. You know, <laughs> or punching. <laughs> or punching like. a, a gorilla the other day was punching a uh, a drone. Really? In the zoo, yeah. The gorilla, she was mad and. They always would film, you know, they film like National Geographic stuff now with like drones. Uh -huh. And the drone kept following her a couple of days. Finally, one day it came down. She stood on the top of the tree, had a branch <laughs> behind her and just bam, hit the drone down. <laughs> I was happy for her. And I was like, yeah, good. She beat the drone. <laughs> We have this uh, this drony thing that's like a multi motor or rotor or something rotor scope something uh, like but they have this drone thing and uh, seagulls actually attack it. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> kind of like that. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, Ishmael just groped me. If, if you're only listening, <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> not grope. Uh, groping is oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, groping. <laughs> groping is you know something it's you do bro. either it's with different. yeah. It's a big difference. Not groping. <laughs> Wishful thinking, man. Well, hardly, but you know, yeah, uh, you know, for some not. for some people yeah. for sure. Yeah. For some people for sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, but. <laughs> Legally, I have I have audio man. proof of the grow of the grow. <laughs> Go on, man. Uh, hardly, hardly, hardly. Uh, it's just, okay, okay, so start off. <laughs> start off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so. <laughs> but we had. I was telling like we have this we have this drone and we shoot with the little oh, GoPro yeah, yeah. cameras like uh, from bird, from a bird's eye view and stuff. Mm. And seagulls actually attack the thing. Of course. Uh, uh, you don't think the animals are finally getting upset that we're bothering them all the time? There you go. Exactly. It's like, why would you, would you, you know, what's this thing? Like, yeah. that's in my airspace. Plus it probably sounds crazy, yeah. you know? It looks crazy. Yeah, it sounds it great. Sounds. They've been working with us for thousands of years, uh -huh. but not a drone flying in their face. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You got to see the video and, and cut into it when we're talking about it. Sure. You got to look for the gorilla with the drone, man. It's it's pretty spectacular. I'll cut to, I'll cut to that. I'll cut to that. I hope you don't have to pay for it, but you guys pay for your samples and stuff. We don't sample. You don't sample at all? No. 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 Are you kidding? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't sample. Yeah, no sample. No sampling. Of course. We sample of course. our shows. You sample yourselves. Yeah. Then, then you sample yourself. Then you sample something. There you go. We make a lot of stuff up on the fly, so Uh huh. Okay. Of course. Then we race back home to sample it. I'm on a the 
first time I ever heard the Digable Planets song, I was like 12 yeah. or something, like on Yo MTV Raps on a Sunday morning, because yeah. it was on MTV Europe. So it was like, uh, uh, I've, so I guess I've, I've seen you since, for like, I, the first time I saw you was like 25 years ago or Is something. It? Yeah, it's crazy. Like twelve, uh, tw- twenty-two. Twenty-five. Wow. Twenty-two. 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 Yeah. Same I'm thing. going on twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Yeah. So it's near. It's nearer twenty-five than it is twenty. Yeah. So there you go. Right. Right. TV right. raps. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. That was wow. a huge hit back then. Yeah. Have you ever uh, utilized uh, or used at least? Have you ever used uh, anything from back then that you reminded yourself of? Like we're going to use this is valid for you as well. So uh, any, any old stuff that you know just you know naturally comes comes uh, back? I guess. You mean musically? Yeah. Or whatever. I mean, it's all. It doesn't go like like new old. You know, like it's all like your instinct, hmm. things that you've learned, and the way that you you sort of process your influences and and use them at the moment of impact. You know, uh-huh. so we've learned a lot of new stuff, but. You know, uh-huh. yeah. Things come into your life differently. I wasn't really a big jazz enthusiast then. Oh. No. I am now. Now I know it. Way more. Is it an acquired taste? You think? Like your your palate introduced to it. I just didn't grow up on it. Oh, okay. okay. My parents just weren't. It wasn't a lot of jazz in the house. Oh. No, because so. some food like it seems like it seems like your palate sometimes isn't ready for some sort of food or some for 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 wine, I guess. So music sometimes may may be like that, I guess. Your ear kind of you kind of educate your ear. You, you, do you do you feel that? I guess. Well, I'm, I, like spicy food. I wasn't in the hot food. There you go. I just didn't, but it wasn't in my house. Uh-huh. When I became my own man and started tasting things, I liked it. Uh-huh. So I don't want to say, I don't know, because some things I've tasted and there's nothing that will acquire me to taste it again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then came Sriracha. <laughs> no, I guess. Because that seems to be the gateway for everyone, I guess. Yeah. Right? And then, <laughs> <laughs> or Chipotle. The gateway sauce. <laughs> the gateway sauce, exactly. <laughs> You have the single called uh, Hashtag Cake, or do you pronounce the hashtag? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. okay. So, uh, and uh, are uh, hashtags edible or just a cake? Mm. Yeah, hashtags are edible. Symbolically, like society is, is dining over, oh. is, is gloating actually on hashtags at this point. It's getting kind of ridiculous. So, But for him, mm. as the hashtag, he's huge right now, man. And he's been on the keyboard for like 30 years, man. Mm-hmm. Nobody even cared about him. Yeah. What's that? What's that hashtag? Hmm? No, what? the actual the hashtag. hashtag. Oh, the actual hashtag. Yeah. hashtag. Oh, Were sorry. you using it when you first listened to Diggable Planets um, for anything? Only, only uh, the, the whole word, uh, not the actual yeah. Uh, symbol. Yeah. yeah, he was lost in the yeah. sauce, man. He's yeah. he's out there. Or the possibly, oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, rise of the, the rise of the hashtag is he's a big huge right now. <laughs> he's on every everything, every social media. He is the connection to social media. That's kind of scary. Wow. Is it like a Google, like this entity, like this? Google is basically a guy, right? I, that is, so the hashtag is, thing is yeah, yeah. the same thing, I guess. Gorilla vs. Bear is not possibly... Our hashtag d- Gorilla vs. Bear. You have to say hashtag before everything you say. May I, may I, pronu- may I say hashtag uh, at the end? Like if I... No, no it doesn't. Because then it just, that, that applies to what you say after it, you uh-huh. see? Oh. But you can go like this while you're talking, <laughs> and you're good. Okay, okay. So, so you have to like, cause, cause like, like finger commas are the same, yeah. right? Finger commas, and now you go hashtag like this. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. That's awesome. That's, <laughs> that's everything that's I say cool. is gonna blow up. You're uh, like a walking PR guy, yeah. <laughs> like the walking brilliant uh, yeah. communications guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like me now. <laughs> where could where could people like you right now? Right, just just no. press on Wait. the screen <laughs> twice. <laughs> people are putting hashtags in front of things with five followers, as if everyone's going to follow them. Yeah. 
guess I guess everyone is eventually going to follow everyone. Yeah. And the world will collapse, I guess. Yeah. A bunch of followers leading. That's scary. Wow. That's not good. So you raise, raise a good question. Like, why are there not like I have uh, I have excuse me I have I have like uh, three hundred leaders on my picture. Like, yeah. Like, isn't there like why isn't it possible? Like, I know. I guess there's a whole area to. Well, you have your own site though. I, I'm sorry. I think you have your own site now. There you go. I'll 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 give you like some some. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 300 liters. Oh, I because I because I, I heard 300 euros. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I'm, that's what I'm going to charge people every month. Yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah, you there should. You there you go. And make some you know mm. some art from that. I guess some I don't know. I guess some uh, catalyze, uh, catalyzer for for uh, decent things. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. For worthwhile things. Um, speaking of things, like you guys, um, uh, you speaking of things. Because <laughs> you you've been very good at connecting. <laughs> Thank like, you. Speaking of animals, gorilla versus bear. That was pretty good. This is a perfect segue. Speaking of things, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, but um, um, like, w was there anything like uh, what got you? This is like it seems a, w a weird question for someone who's had a long career. But you know, what got you guys into like doing art for a living? Like, what was the trigger? Like I, you know, you heard something or saw something, and I, I need to do this for a living. Mm. Um, it seemed to me at some point in life I realized that um, creating um, was a type of pressure that I enjoyed and that made me feel exhilarated. Mm. And then I was then later, because my father had me play saxophone, then I was in a situation in which that pressure was being presented to me on a consistent basis and it was in the field of music, so I found my passion. Mm. Wow, oh. that's a good one. I like that. I mean, it for me, man, always did it. I've never not been around music. I was born in a musical family, born in a, in a musical culture, um, shown a music. Mm. I was always around it. Um, I appreciated it, and I knew at a young age, like I was really into sports too, so I wanted to do sports and do that, and I knew at a young age, like I cut off in high school really doing music for a minute and just did like sports just because I knew I wasn't going to the NFL, uh -huh. and then <laughs> and then uh, got back into music, did it, and then when me and him linked up, I just appreciated it more. Uh -huh. I'll say that, uh -huh. you know, I um, became more of a student of art, the art artistic uh -huh. approach to music, sure. rather than just the song sounds good or you get what I'm saying. Uh -huh. There was a point where Absolutely. I just liked the song or oh Michael Jackson's cool because he does this and I understood everything that was going on the mix downs, everything studied everything. But now I just became more of a student of uh -huh. the music in the last couple of years. So I just was always around it. So sure. there was I don't remember not being around it. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I just don't remember that. Awesome, awesome. That's uh, that's uh, it seems like like uh, an absolute necessity or absolute need, right? Because that's makes it like all worthwhile, I guess. You learn that at some point. It's a uh, necessity. Awesome. I think every artist is um, epiphany is different. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. it's different. Yeah. That's yeah. why. I, that's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. There you go. And, I learned at the airport. Really. Working a job as a security guard at Boeing Field. Uh, were you fed up with uh, mu the Muzak and then decided to I'm going to go something, do something d decent, I guess? The guy tried <laughs> no, to... No, I'm just assuming. The guy called me to be in on a day I wasn't supposed to be working. Oh. And as soon as he said that, I had quit in my mind, but <laughs> my response took sarcastically a little bit longer to get to the point to tell him, look, I'm just not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> when did he learn? Like, the poor guy. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Right? We may have been to a show. I don't remember. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And plus, uh, you wish, we wish everyone well, right? Yeah. So, yeah there yeah. you go. Thank 
Thanks, guys. We're basically done. Good. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Thank this you, is man. pretty much goes everything like apart from apart from the groping thing, I guess. <laughs> 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 Even that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>